Here we are back again for part two of the fire type POWs only run. If you're unfamiliar, my goal here is to beat POW world using only fire type POWs. If you haven't seen part one, go check it out. The link will be down below. Fire type only POWs. Uh, I have been itching to get back into this run because man, it has been pretty crazy. I'm currently writing the script here and uh, it says that I'm going to put crazy things in that happened in last video because I can't remember anything that was deemed crazy. Well, in doing the voiceover, I don't really remember anything crazy, um, but uh, yeah, here, here's some crazy things. Dodge everything. Oh my God, I'm stuck on him. I'm stuck on him. Woo, whoa, that was, that was crazy. Anywho, what did I say I was gonna be doing next? I think the pals that I have now are fine, but I wanna trade a couple out. I think I'm gonna try and look around for eggs more. This may be a bad idea due to the other pals running around and wanting to smash my face in. Really? Really, dude? You've doomed me. Of course these pals wanna smash my face in. And I think it's just absolutely hilarious that you get to put me out and make me go get the eggs in the pit of death. You know, I hope you're happy. I don't know if you've heard, buddy old pal, but there's some bald kid with arrow tattoos on his body looking for me. <sighs> I digress. Before I march to my death though, I will be leveling up once, so I can at least fly on the ferocious vanworm I got before. So let's go do that. I'm gonna run a dungeon or, I don't know, like six. I successfully cleared my first dungeon. I then ran out and caught all of the fox sparks I saw in my immediate area. I plan on breeding an OP fox sparks and then condensing all of them into one of my choosing. Someone in my comments pointed out that I've never actually made the fox sparks pal gear, and they're totally right. I completely forgot that the pal gear existed. As a fire lord, I'm ashamed of myself because I should be using a flamethrower. So yeah, I'll, I'll need to get a lot of fox sparks for that. So, editor's note, I never actually used the pal gear in this episode. I am very sorry. I then ran to my next dungeon, got assaulted by my most hated bowl of baked beans known as Relaxosaurus, and I'll say it once, and I'll say it again, this was not very cash money of you. I went inside the dungeon, I took on the first few pals in said dungeon, leveled up, then even fought the daydream that got stuck in a wall. I learned the saddle for Van Worm, Gunpowder, Coarse Ammo, and the Antique Desk Set. I'm skipping on the musket for now because, well, I hate it and it's awful. Speaking of the musket, you guys decided that guns will count as a fire weapon since they are actually named Fire Arms. So the next weapon I have my sights on is going to be the makeshift handgun. Anywho, I then finished the dungeon and I got the loot from the chest at the very end. I went back to my base to make some fire arrows. I then realized that I probably should have saved some of my flame organs to make Vamworm's saddle, so that was a little misstep on my part, but I just had to go back out and get the resources I needed. This wasn't that big of an issue, but I could have been a little bit more efficient here. While getting the resources I needed, I also decided to run around to hunt and forage for food. You know, during these runs, there are always certain restrictions that I have to worry about. Uh, for instance, with fire type only pals, I have no pals that can actually help me farm. And, you know, I've told you all before, but I'm not going to be the one that's doing the farming. I just don't have the patience for that, right? Uh, so our only other option is find a lucky pal that'll help us unlock farming, or I can run around and just get the food I need for now. Okay, cool. I got what I need now. So it is officially time to unlock flying for this run. Ah, we are moving up in the world and it just feels so good. I found another egg in Anubis's tail and started to incubate it. Let's see what it hatches into. We got a Kelpsy Ignis. I know that I can add this to my party to increase the power of my fire pals, but for now, I'm just gonna assign it to my ranch so it can start producing flame organs for me. Okay, so this was a really, really big sidetrack journey, but now I think I'm actually ready to go hunt for eggs. So uh, let's do this. I found an egg and another egg. I even found another egg. And then surprisingly, I found another egg. It was all incredibly exciting 
and uh, until it wasn't. Oh my god, my body hurts. We're we're gonna throw one ball and see what happens. If it catches it, great. If not, then we have to run. Okay, we're running. God, that sucks. Dang it, man. Oh god, we're out of stamina. Oh, this is bad. This is all bad. Oh, good lord. I just wanted eggs. I just wanted eggs. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to get eggs. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want this. Not like this. Not like this. That sucked. Okay, well, back to eggs. Well, that was the opposite of awesome. It was not awesome. Because I love Incineram, and getting a lucky one would have been amazing. But like I've said before, this is just the risk of being a lower level in a higher level area. You know, I could do a bit, again, about getting more eggs and being like, whoa, I found another egg. But let's just skip ahead to the point where I tell you that I've got a total of 21 eggs now. And aside from having to give up on that amazing Incineram, this was just an incredible haul. I went back to my base and I made another three egg incubators, and then I started the incubation process. Now that I've done that, I have a little bit of time to wait for those eggs to hatch, so I think it's time for me to work on my base for a while. A lot of you commented that I should upgrade it to stone, and I totally agree. I have no intentions of doing my whole base in stone though, just like the first section of walls because I like the aesthetics of it. I also added some decorations into my base to kind of liven the place up a bit. I think it's looking pretty good as of now, and I may not know really what direction I want to take the aesthetics of this base into yet, but I'll figure it out as time goes on. So my base has been somewhat beautified now, which is great. At one point, I needed to do some work for my job, uh, so I went AFK. Ekthir Deer and me were chopping away at trees, and I mean for a long time. So much so that I think uh, we can go see if any of my eggs are ready to be hatched now. All right, let's do just the scorching egg first. Okay, another Kelpsy Ignis. That's pretty cool. We will just throw that in the ranch. And here we go. These are going to be the exciting eggs. The first large scorching egg gets us. Oh my goodness, a Pyron knocked? Okay. I don't know that typing though. I don't know if we're going to be able to use that. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's primary type is fire. Uh, that means we can use it. I've never used Pyron or Pyron Noct, so this is going to be pretty neat. I'm, I'm really excited for these types of challenges because it forces me to use pals I just normally wouldn't use. Anywho, let's, uh, let's check the second large scorching egg. A Wixen that's unstable. That is not great, but I'll take it. Number three. A brittle Pyron knocked. Not amazing. And number four. Another Reptyro. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, cool. So that means we can take our Reptyro out and leave it in our party. And then we can put. Oh, wait. This has burly body, though. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to keep this Reptyro in our party because it has that 20% uh, buff to defense from Burly Body. I think that'll come in handy. Aside from that, let's throw this other Kelpsy in. I wonder, let's see what level we unlock Pyronox Saddle at. Okay, not until level 33, so that'll be a while. But uh, yeah, that was really exciting. Let's uh, let's level up now. Honestly, hatching a Pyron Noct was pretty cool in my opinion. Like I said before, I've never actually used that pal in any of my runs. So having the ability to use it here just feels really neat for me. You know, even if unfortunately it's going to be a while until I can actually ride it since its saddle is not unlocked till level 33. So anyway, there was a new Power World update during this series, and some new technologies have been made. One of which being the ore mining site. This new item essentially gives you an ore node on your base. I plan on making this and having Reptile just farm away on this for quite a while. I really, really need to get more Paldium fragments, food, and Pal fluids. The fragments for various builds, the food so, you know, I don't die 
and the pal fluids so I can make more hot springs for my pals as I'm just getting worried about their mental health and I feel like in today's society we take mental health for granted and I'm here to say that pals need rest too, okay? Van Worm and I explored for quite a while and things were going really well. We both had a job and we were both doing that job near perfectly. That was until Van Worm decided that he had enough and craved violence. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> what? Van Worm, why did you start this battle? I'm not prepared to fight this boss right now. There's two of them! Van Worm! <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, Van Worm, I'm all for trying to make, like, you know, exciting content, but this is not what I had in mind, dog. I'm gonna die. This is your fault, Van Worm. Not Reptyro. Not, not Reptyro. Uh, I guess we'll throw Quixen out. Um, get it for it out there. Get in there. What is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> Dang it. I just wanted to feed my pals. Ugh. I blame Van Worm for this. This is Van Worm's fault. Welp, we made it back to my base, uh, and not of my own doing. Thank you again, Van Worm. You are just the best. But I think it's time to hatch more eggs. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got two Van Worm and three Lee's Punk Ignis. One Lee's Punk Ignis I hatched has a passive called Mercy, and it makes it that this pal will not reduce a target's health below one. If you're unfamiliar with the Pokemon games and their moves, this is essentially False Swipe. I named this Lee's Punk Ignis False Swipe and decided to hang on to it. Later on in the series, it might be cool to rank this up to four stars and use it for hunting luckies. Speaking of condensing, I probably should make the essence condenser, right? Okay, my next bit of business is food. I'm worried about the mental stability of my pals, and I don't really have the resources to make anything crazy quite yet for them, so I think a good first step for me is getting a lot of berries and making baked berries, since they restore 5 stability when eaten. That's actually a lie, I think the update changed that. Um, yeah, this is, this is editor megabits here, and I realized later on in the uh, series that they only restore one uh, stability, so that got changed. I don't know when, but it got changed. Anywho, while hunting and foraging for food, I decided to take on my boy Chillit again. Or, sorry, I mean boys. I forgot bosses will now spawn two rather than one. This was an incredibly easy fight though, it was really nothing to write home about. I mean, I have Fire Pals, Chillit is, uh, you know, Dragon Ice, so it was it was just a fast fight. I ran around the beach a bit more to hunt for food, and then I went back to my base to start cooking said berries. While I'm waiting for these berries to cook, let's hatch my next batch of eggs and see what we get. The batch of eggs gave me three Kelpsy Ignis, two Lee's Punk Ignis, and a new level. I hit level 23, and then I had my Reptyro cook even more food. Now that I am level 23, I can unlock some new technologies. Realistically, the most important one being metal armor. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting that the update added in the ore mining site. I'm gonna make this because I'm tired of mining everything, Grandpa. Now that that's completed, let's hatch some more eggs. I hatched two Kelpsy Ignis, two Van Worm, and one Lee's Punk Ignis. Things are going really well. I really have no idea what I want to do now, and that's probably because it's 9pm at night and work was absolutely draining today. My brain kind of feels like mush, and I question my own career more times than I care to admit. Oh YouTube, please let me go viral so I can just do this full time. Hey, listen, you know, a boy can dream. Anywho, in my time of not knowing what to do next, I decided to redo my hatching area. The previous spot was fine, I guess, but it didn't feel all that great and didn't look all that nice, so I did this. It's nothing amazing, and I'm probably gonna redo it again because it's not straight or even. Oh god, I hate it, uh, but it'll do for now. 
Okay, so like next steps. I think I'm gonna go out and try to hunt for a lucky water pal. I know this is far easier said than done, but hey, maybe my YouTuber RNG will come in, so let's do this. I ran around for a while and I picked up some random items whenever I could, uh, mostly being berries. Pick the berries, pick the berries, pick all the berries. And then I found my very first lucky of this excursion. Okay, well, you know, I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> um, <clears throat> is cool. I would have preferred a water pal, but I won't complain. I won't complain. It's it's another pal added to my repertoire that I didn't have before. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Anywho, let's uh let's go back to exploring and trying to find a water lucky pal. This is pretty neat, and then I decided to go off on a bit of a speech here. I will say this is probably going to be out of the ordinary for this channel, but I'm hoping what I can say can impact you, and you'll understand, because I think it's important. Every video I post, I get bigger, and my influence grows, and that's how it's supposed to work, but then I start thinking about it, and it's like, how do I try to make this a positive thing? Not just for me, but you know, for everyone else that watches this. Like, I have a reach now. Uh, I, I want to do more than just uh, cure your boredom and make you not feel lonely and, you know, be the relatable voice you listen to on YouTube. So, Editor Megabits here. I went off on a pretty significant monologue about my own experiences, and I wanted to share a story about bullying. I think it's a pretty important topic, but I don't necessarily think I need to give you all a 20 minute speech on my own experience here. So I'm just gonna give you the quick cliff notes. I've never liked people who pick on others. I think people who do are mostly projecting because they feel either inadequate or inferior due to whatever cards life dealt them. The main thing here that I really was trying to get through and say was this. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I'm going on an amazing monologue and there's a lucky. Oh my god, it's a lamb ball. Okay, honestly, that's that's fair. Okay, in all seriousness though, the timing of this was actually hilarious. So where was I? Um, yeah, uh, dear viewer, you're perfect, okay? Uh, you may have people in your life that put you down. You know, you may be in high school, you may be in college, you just may be in your workplace or just wherever. And people put you down for no reason. You don't know why, it just happens. You feel like you're the most unlucky person and you feel dejected and you feel worthless and defeated. And that's all so wrong. Uh, everything that your brain tells you could not be further from the truth of who you actually are. You're awesome. The person that's not awesome is the person that's making you feel that way. So yeah, I'm sorry if that wasn't that amazing and how my scripted words can be, but understand that it came directly from my heart and my brain. You know, just like unplanned words, life can be messy, right? And that's totally fine. I have full intentions of trying to use my platform to be more of a positive force. I've had so many experiences, whether that means good, bad, sad, hard, whatever it is, I can promise you that I've dealt with it. And like I said, it'd just be a downright shame for me to gain all of this success and try to not be a positive force with it. So expect more of the real talks, the unscripted talks, the vulnerable talks, because I think they're important. So let's get back to the reason why you're here, dear viewer. I continued my search for a lucky water pal, and I never found one, sadly. <laughs> uh, by the time I finished on this day, it was like midnight, and I was pretty eepy. So I went back to my base. I was coming in here, I was dropping off, you know, my skill fruits and blueprints, and I noticed I have the legendary pelt armor schematic. I don't know when I got this. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> we've we've seen what happens when I do it in other videos, and I will not sub I'll not uh, s subject myself to doing that again. <laughs> yeah, before I go to bed, we're going to start hatching these three eggs I found during my lucky hunts. We will hatch this one and get the 
seventeenth Kelpsy Ignitz. I don't know when I when I do these like off script recordings, I I feel like I'm like streaming. I'm not streaming right now. Who am I talking to? It's weird. I still haven't found a lucky pal for watering, but that's just gonna have to go on the back burner for now. I want to go catch some more Van Worms, and as always, my hope is finding one that has Runner, Swift, or hey, even both, but either will do. So let's do that and see how it goes. While hunting for said Van Worms, I leveled up to 24. I increased my attack stat and learned some random technologies. Things were going well on the home front. I was catching Van Worm left and right and up and down. I did have a close call, but all of this was totally worth it. Oh, hello. That is a lucky uh, Melpaca. In a tree. <laughs> okay, we'll use a hypersphere for this. Okay. Okay, buddy. You can't just th shoot through a rock like that. Heck yeah, we got another lucky. That one, honestly, that one kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> it's only a farming pal, to my knowledge. Oh my god, that is so many Van Worm. It's only a farming pal, which means it can only get me uh, wool. So, I mean, it'll be nice. Um, that's not really the work suitability I'm looking for, though, which kind of sucks. But, you know, we're, we're not here to... We're not here to be picky on what luckies we get. This is it. Here's here's the runner. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, the next one. The next one is going to be the runner. That's that's what I meant. Um, yeah, the next one. Oh my God! That's the swift. That's the swift. <laughs> We got the swift! <laughs> I'm so excited! Uh, what? Is this one gonna be run? No, that one's just fragrant. Nope. Okay, all right, all right. That's fragrant. Fragrant. Full, full, I don't. I don't even know. I'm excited about the swift. Um, <laughs> although I, ferocious is a disgusting passive. Like it's it's so like look at this. 408 attack. It's nuts. So, like, realistically, I understand that I should just be using this fan worm because it's going to be a monster. But the thing is, the thing is, dear viewer, I don't have much patience, okay? I just don't have a lot. And I just want to fly around fast. <laughs> I just want to fly around fast. To help this fan worm just be a little bit stronger, we'll condense it just a little bit. I have a fast flyer now, and... I don't really know what to do next. I know I need to level up and gear up for my next tower boss, so maybe I guess I should be running dungeons? Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. But before that, I grabbed the egg on Anubis's tail, uh, started to incubate it, then hatched my other eggs. Now, we do some dungeons. I decided to do a level 29 dungeon, and good lord, this was pretty insane. Everything inside of the dungeon up until the boss pals was fine. I took out quite a lot of pals and even more free pal alliance members. Then I got to the boss room. Now, although I am very happy that I've set my pal appearance rate to 2.2, uh, it's a, it's a double-edged sword in the fact that I didn't have one, but two Grindales that I needed to fight here. This fight was incredibly difficult. The Grindales were a higher level than my pals and I, and they could put out quite a bit of damage. I found myself switching out pals more than I care to admit for a boss encounter, but no matter, we, uh, we did end up prevailing in this fight. Oh my god. How long? I have been recording for 17 minutes. Good god. That was that was insane. That yeah, I I got way too lucky for that one. I only had eight durability left on my crossbow. So now my brain is telling me it's time to go home. 
I was feeling like sandy cheeks here, and I just, I just really wanted to go home. Rather than using the fast travel point that was right beside the dungeon, I wanted to fly over to the ancient ritual site fast travel point, so I could have that unlocked for when I came back here. And then something interesting and scary happened. Mind you, I had 8 durability left on my crossbow. Oh no. Uh, I, I have no, I have no durability left in my bow. We need to take out the free pal lines first, um, and then we'll go after Bristella, Bristilla, whatever it is. We'll go after that next. No, 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 no. I can't have you running away. Okay, I have a hypersphere though. So we should be fine. This is bad. Oh my God, the free pal alliance is really messing this up. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Oh no, dude. Please catch, please catch. Oh God. Oh no, I've just made this so much harder than it needed to be. Oh, that was so bad. Oh God. Oh no! Don't kill it! Don't you dare kill it! <laughs> yep, there goes the bow. Yeah. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, we got it! Bandworm, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Get out of here! <laughs> we have to leave! We have to leave the van of worms! <laughs> Go! We have to leave! <laughs> we gotta get out of here! We're going home! We're going home! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo. Oh my lord! Oh, okay, well... We have... All we need is a watering pal now, and then we're good. And then we have everything we need to start farming. Uh, we're gonna throw Malpaca, Milpaca, whatever. We're, we're throwing this in here in the ranch. Um, I'm very excited for Bristola. I, I think this is gonna be amazing for when we actually can start farming. Uh, very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. Good God. What a crazy 30 minutes I just had. I went back to my base, I grabbed the skill fruits at my tree, hatched an egg, cooked some food, refined ore to ingots, then I made fire resistant metal armor. Speaking of food, I'm getting dangerously low once again. I still don't have that wondrous lucky water pal, so it's once again time for me to hunt, forage, and go up and down the beaches in hopes of finding a lucky water pal. Things were going well. While hunting, my main goal was to take out a lot of chickpeas because they drop both their meat and eggs. This pal would essentially give me double the food. While hunting, I heard a noise. A noise that you're all aware of. A noise that I oh so love. That's right, there was a Lucky. Oh, I hear a Lucky. Okay, if I were a Lucky, where would I be hi Oh, <gasps> it's a Kremis! Oh, hello, you absolute beauty. Um, uh, I'm nervous if I shoot you that I might actually kill you, so let's just throw a pal school and we'll see what happens. That's not great. We'll just keep throwing pal spheres. It's fine. Amazing. We have another lucky. Oh my god, the Kremis has artisan. I've never used Kremis in my base. I could totally be wrong about its work suitability, but I'm pretty sure it is only a ranch pal, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it only gives wool. But I again, I, I could be totally wrong, so don't take that as law or anything, but when we get back to my base, we'll check and see what it is. Nonetheless, though, that's very exciting. I'm always happy to get a Lucky. After getting the Lucky Kremis, I explored around more, kept up with hunting and foraging, then went back to my base to cook my bounty. 
Now there's a pretty good amount of food in my base and my inventory, so I'm not as worried now. With that, I think I want to hunt for some more eggs now. Before I go out, I decided to use all the ingots I had and I made 29 gigaspheres. If I do find a lucky out in this area, these might be enough to catch one, you know, of course with the help of some crazy RNG. Regardless, I made my spheres and I set out for some more eggs. Heh <laughs> those walls are coming in handy. <laughs> get blocked, nerds! You can't come in here. This isn't your home. Go on, get! Go on, get! <laughs> oh my god, there's so many Van Worm here. This was such a bad spot for me to build my first base in this run. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I know what I was thinking. And it's that this is a cool area. I mean, look at this. This base is coming together. Things are looking awesome here. I'm really liking how it's turning out. Okay, okay. I got sidetracked. Sorry, sorry. Let, let's 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 get some let's get some eggs now. The hunt for eggs was on, and I was ready to obtain as many as I could. If this was an easter egg hunt, I was pushing everyone out of the way to grab these eggs. I was stealing their baskets, taking their eggs, and laughing in their faces. Up until the point that I heard that faithful sound, once again... Okay, I hear the noise. It's a level 50 Bushi? Well... <sighs> there is no way I'm catching that. I, uh, okay, we have a back bonus. We'll, we'll throw a Gigasphere, see what happens. RNG, be with us. Or not, that's fine. Uh, you don't have, nope, alright. Have a good day, Bushi. You keep doing you, buddy. Oh my god! No, 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 no. I forgot you could do that whole teleport thing. Are you still angry at me? No. I'm gonna throw another, pa I'm gonna throw another one, dude. Okay, alright. Now I would imagine you're a little pissed off, and that's fair. Totally fair. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> what are you even doing, man? What are you doing? Well, I'm not gonna run out of stamina right over you. Heck no, dude. Oh god! What was that? What? <laughs> there was a whole cliff be There was a whole cliff between us, dog. How are you gonna do that to me? Well, that's sad. <laughs> okay, well that was you have a good day, Bushi. <laughs> My heart hurts, but it's fine. Time heals all wounds. <laughs> Although this kind of sucked, I've said it in the past, and I'll say it again. This is just the risk of being in a higher level area when you're a lower level player. If there's a possibility that a lucky can be where you're at, odds are you're gonna see a lucky. I was hoping R and Jesus would be with me with those gigaspheres I'd thrown, but no dice. It was fine though, because I had an egg hunt to continue. Oh my god, is that another huge scorching egg right there? I'm already so fat. How am I? Oh, I'm so fat. <laughs> so fat. Okay. Hey. Well, I think that was a really, really good hunt for eggs. We got what? Three huge. Or sorry, two huge scorching eggs. Uh, four, five, five large scorching eggs, and and then uh, eighteen just normal scorching eggs um that was really good so yeah i guess now it's just time to wait and see what we're gonna get i put my eggs in my incubators and decided it was time to make a better storage solution for all of them the barrels just weren't cutting it i was gonna need a few ingots and nails so my two reptiles and myself went mining away at the ore mining pit since i decided now would be a really good time for lunch and a good time to go afk Okay, I was gone for way too long. I, you know, for sure definitely didn't start a game of Brotato or anything. Anyway, I refined some ingots, made more storage for my eggs, and then crafted three incubators. At this point, I think I'm about ready to take on the next tower, uh, but I want to hatch all of these eggs first, I want to make a gun, and then I think I'll be ready to go to the next boss. So let's do that. Hey, hi, Megabits here again. I definitely went on an AFK spree. I kept playing my Brotato game, and I just kept hatching these eggs. 
So let's hatch the last few ones that I have. Oh, a Ragnarok. That is awesome. I am stoked. Oh, we got two Ragnar Ragnarok's. That's amazing. Wait, let's put some more eggs in real quick. Then mind. Oh my god, it has Ferocious. That... That's gonna be amazing. Wow. You're gonna be my new flyer. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to use Ragnarok in this episode. Yeah, no, we're, we're for sure not. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay, next episode we'll use Ragnarok. <laughs> Well, now that that portion of my life is over, now it's time for me to make the uncommon handgun. Like I said before, I had to run around and get the materials I needed. This included mostly high quality POW oil, but I also needed more ore. I think with my ore mining site, I should be able to get enough though. I have full intentions of fighting Relaxosauruses to get this, but I think it'll also be a good idea for the future to go catch some Flambell, as they're allegedly supposed to drop POW oil from the ranch now. Really? Just a lucky Kelpsy Ignis? Not that I'm sad about this. Just, this is the fire run and would be nice to get luckies that aren't fire, but it's fine, it's fine. This is what we're here for, you know? Alright, we got another lucky in the books. I can't say I'm stoked about it, but... You know, a lucky's a lucky. I, I shouldn't be complaining. I understand that. I just... <laughs> it would have been nice if we could get a lucky that would, you know, help out in the challenge, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I went to this spot that I knew had a lot of flambelle, and I definitely went a little crazy. Um, I for sure wasn't expecting to fly up on it and instantly find that lucky Kelpsy Ignis, but it's cool nonetheless. I caught... Oh, so many flambell. Like, I lost count how many flambell I caught. And I even caught a couple wixen. I kept running around to catch flambell, and once I ran out of pal spheres, I decided to go back to my base. At the end of this excursion, I ended up catching over 40 flambells. I definitely feel a little bit bad, but hey, you know, we got the pal oil we needed. I'm going to choose two of these little dudes and condense the rest of them into them. I condensed both of them down, and now they live in the ranch. I took my Melpaca out, because as of now, I really don't need any more wool. But with these two in the ranch, I should be getting a pretty good amount of pow oil now. With my Flambelle in the ranch, it is finally time to make a gun. I got my Wixen out to start the process, leveled up its work speed, and then we made our upgrade. I may only have like 27 bullets right now, but that'll be cured shortly. I'm first going to make more fire arrows as a backup in case my gun breaks or I run out of ammo. Okay, that's enough arrows for now. You know, I have a sinking suspicion that I'll need to rank both of these two up to actually get a better chance of getting the high quality POW oil, but that's a future Megavitz problem. Uh, he can, he can handle it. I made myself a metal helm since I forgot they existed and I need to be in tip top shape. It is now time to sleep. I've got a big day tomorrow. First stop I need to make will be dune shelter in the desert. I don't feel like getting all the materials I need to make handgun ammo, so I'm just gonna buy it. Is that lazy? Yes. Do I care? Not exactly. I fast traveled to the desert, and not a minute of being there, this happened. I am going to explode. I just spent so much time building the uncommon handgun. And you're telling me the very first chest, the very first chest that I find out in the desert has the rare schematic. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll build this for the third tower. This is a this will be a uh, third episode thing. My timing, as always, dear viewer, is impeccable. If I would have just waited just a little bit, I would have found this blueprint and not have wasted my materials. It's frustrating, yes, but it, it's fine. We'll use the uncommon handgun for Lily and Lilene, and then for the next video, we'll upgrade to this rare one. Since I was in the desert, I did want to do my favorite pastime of treasure hunting. 
This went well, and I got quite a lot of pretty good things. They were mostly just high-level pal spheres, but hey, that's awesome. Right before going inside of Dune Shelter, I noticed a new NPC that I have never seen before. What the hell is a vigorous pal tamer? Hello? You look real tough. Come on, let's fight. I'm talking a real fight. No, dude. What? You're level 40. How do I look real tough? I mean, I know I'm like Ozai, but I don't know, man. I'll come back for you, okay? I'll come back. Don't you worry. Well, that was weird, but Ozai never forgets. Ozai will be back for you, buddy. Just you wait. I went inside a dune shelter, sold my treasure and excess gear, and then I bought all the handgun ammo that I could afford. I now have 554 shots, and I feel like that should be more than enough for the next tower. Okay, so we have the weapon. We have the ammo. Now what's next, you may ask? Well, food, to be honest. I'm running low right now, and I really don't want to have to worry about that while I'm fighting. So I'm going to do a quick hunting and gathering run. The gathering run went fine, really nothing crazy at all. I mostly hunted for chickpeas, and I knocked out Capriti if I'd see them. A part of me wanted to just keep running around and exploring with my pals. And I knew that we just needed to go back to my base uh, to prepare and then go fight the next tower. I guess I was just anxious here. Putting my pals in direct danger is never a good thing. People look at Ozai as this horrible person, and he is, okay? Listen, don't believe anything I'm saying. Ozai sucked. Anywho, I'm back in my base now, and here I am, being a chef with Reptyro. We made all the food, and I leveled up. I am level 28 now. I raised my health stat and then went to sleep. It's dawn of the final morning. And that's right, you all know what day it is, it's tea day. Before I go fight Lily and Lilene, I want to use Pal Souls to rank up my pals just a little bit. I want to keep Wixen out for as long as I possibly can during the fight, because Wixen's pal ability gives any of the weapons that I use fire damage. I used all of my pal souls up, I then created cold resistant metal armor. I'm only doing this because I don't want to take any cold damage while getting to the tower. I then taught Wixen Blizzard Spike. I think this will help in the fight to hopefully get some freezes off. I now feel prepped and ready to go, so it's time to make the trip to Lily's Tower. And I'm finally here. I can't say I'm not worried a little about this fight. This will be the first challenge I've done where this is a series, and I have full intentions of taking on each tower and, I don't know, maybe even attempt the raid. I know I shouldn't be nervous taking this on, but I don't want to lose. Even if this is my first attempt, and I know that I can just come back and try it again, I just want to succeed on every first attempt, I guess. But, you know, it's too late to go back. We press forward. The fight with Lily and Lilene went far better than I had ever expected. Using Wixen with its level 2 Lord Fox partner skill, it just meant that my uncommon handgun was putting out 5 to 600 damage for every headshot I was doing. I guess RNGesus was with me though, because honestly, I'm a terrible shot in games. I don't know how I was such a crack shot during this fight, but I'm happy I was. To put it into perspective, I was doing so much damage that I took all of the aggro off Wixen for almost the whole fight. Now, this was impressive in my eyes, but it did mean that I had to do a lot of dances to make sure that I wasn't getting hit. I don't know, this fight just made me feel like I was like in the flow state or something. Almost all of my dodges were good, and almost every shot hit its target. I really couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Woohoohoo! Okay, well, you know, honestly, guys... Uh, I overprepared. <laughs> um, or, I mean, I don't know, maybe I didn't. I uh, I don't know what level Lily and Lilene are. Okay, so Lily and Lilene are around level 25. And I'm level 28, so I definitely was 
a couple levels higher than I should have been. But honestly, for the most part, I feel pretty good about that. You know, I, I, uh, yeah, I just, I think you using Wixen was a really good idea. Um, having the fire attribute on the pistol because of Wixen's partner skill, Lord Fox, and uh, ranking up Wixen to rank one, so Lord Fox was level two, I think really helped. I mean, I was doing like, what, 500, 600 damage every single headshot I hit, and almost every single one of my shots were headshots. Um, yeah, no, this, this was amazing. This couldn't have turned out better. Um, I'm sure I could have done better things here, but honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, I'm definitely a little scared for the next towers, uh, especially Marcus and Phaleris. That one's that one's gonna be a pain. And then we all we all know the very last tower. Victor and Shadowbeak suck. I have been trying to come up with ideas for what I need to do to have a strategy that works with Fire Pals. And I, I just, I, I don't know. I think it's going to involve quite a lot of breeding. I think it's going to involve a lot of condensing. It's just gonna take a lot of time. But luckily for you, dear viewer, I have quite a lot of time. And we still have quite a lot of time before we actually get to that point. But anywho, that was pretty awesome. Let's uh, let's go back to base, and we're gonna we'll we'll do some B-roll shots. <laughs> we'll do some B-roll shots as <laughs> narrator Megabits <laughs> says something um, smart and uh, good. <laughs> Oh, I am a child. Really? Say good words? God, what am I gonna do with this guy, dear viewer? Well, here are my good words. That's it for this episode. I'm incredibly excited for where this series will take you and I, and I feel like a lot of progress has been made. I am full intentions of continuing this, so let me know if you have any tips for what I can do. I plan on starting breeding soon, and I really need to spend a lot of time hunting for other lucky pals. It'll be a grind fest for sure on the next episode, but I'm excited for it. If you've made it this far, always remember that you're amazing in every way, and I appreciate you oh so much, dear viewer. That's all I got, though. Bye!